Assalamualaikum and very good morning. I wish to all peoples of Four Amana. This week, on week 31st, we will learn about properties of materials. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, pupils are able to describe the properties of materials by carrying out activities, explain the observations on the properties of materials through written or verbal forms, sketches or ICT in a creative way. Michael is helping his mother in the kitchen. When he is pouring some water into a glass bowl, he accidentally spills some water on the table. He removes a piece of plastic sheet from the holder. Then he tries to clean up the spill. The plastic sheet does not remove the water spill. Eddie tries to clean the spill by using the tissue paper from the roll. The water spill is now removed completely. Some objects do not absorb water and some do. The plastic sheet is not suitable for wiping water spills on any surface. This is because plastic is waterproof, so it does not absorb water. Similarly, materials such as metals, rubber, and glass are waterproof. They do not absorb any water. The water spill remains. Rubber is waterproof. It does not absorb water. Glass is waterproof. It does not absorb water. Some objects absorb water. Examples of these are a hand towel, tissue paper, and a leather belt. The objects are water absorbent. The hand towel, which is made from cotton, absorbs water. Tissue paper is made from paper. Tissue paper absorbs water. A leather belt is made from leather. Leather material absorbs water. Okay, people, we go to first properties of materials, water absorbent or waterproof. First of all, we must know all materials have different properties. Some materials absorb water and some do not. Some materials conduct heat and electricity and some do not. The different properties of materials are advantageous to us. We can make use of different materials for different purposes. A water absorbent towel helps to dry wet hair. A waterproof umbrella prevents a person from getting wet when it rains. Water absorbent materials. Water absorbent non-waterproof materials are materials that can absorb water. Materials that absorb water such as cotton, leather, wood, and paper. Use Tissue paper and towels absorb water. We use them to wipe wet surfaces. Towel, handkerchief, wallet, belt, tissue paper, and newspaper are water absorbent materials. Waterproof materials Non-water absorbent waterproof materials are materials that do not absorb water. Materials that do not absorb water such as glass, plastic, rubber, and metal. Uses of waterproof materials Plastic and rubber make disposable gloves. Waterproof materials make umbrellas, raincoats, and tents. Metal and glass make cookware and crockery. Glass with water droplets. Plastic raincoat. Water droplets on rubber tire. Water droplets on aluminium can. Plastic disposable gloves, tent, and crockery. These are waterproof materials that cannot absorb water. Eddie and his little brother, Michael, are looking at an aquarium. They see many colorful fish swimming around the corals and ceramic bridge. Sand is at the bottom. 
A water plant with some pebbles are at the corner. Michael takes a chocolate from his pocket and eats it. Then he throws the plastic wrapper into the aquarium. It floats on the surface. Eddie says, "Don't do that." Michael picks up the wrapper. He then asks, "Why doesn't it sink to the bottom like the corals, sand, and pebbles?" Eddie explains that different materials have different abilities to float on water. Some objects float on water. Objects made from plastic, such as the sweet wrapper and plastic bottle, float on water. Objects made from wood, such as a wooden raft, also float on water. Some objects sink in water, such as those at the bottom of the aquarium. Gold and silver coins also sink in water. Objects made from clay, such as ceramic vase, sink in water too. Objects made from rubber, such as tires, and glass, such as a glass bottle, also sink in water. Properties of materials number two: float or sink. Material have different properties. Materials differ in their ability to float or sink in water. A material floats when it stays on the surface of water. These are the example of materials that float on the surface on water. A material sinks when it moves down to the bottom of water. Sink in water, the material moves down to the bottom of water. Now we go into materials that float on water. Materials that float on water, such as wood, wood, this wooden lock, cork. And plastic, wooden boat, and floats. Uses of materials that float on water to make boats and floats. These are the floats. Boats are made of wood, and floats are made of plastic. Now, materials that sink in water. Materials that sink in water, such as glass, metal, pebbles, and clay. Uses of materials that sink in water to make objects, such as anchors. This is this is the example of anchors. The anchor of a ship is made of metal. Ships use anchors to prevent being drifted by sea currents. These are the example of material that sink in water: glass, metal, pebbles, and clay. This is anchor. Summary for today' lesson. Now we look into this circle map: materials that absorb water. There are four materials that absorb water. Number one, cotton, wood, paper, and leather. Second properties of materials: materials that do not absorb water, such as glass, metal, rubber, and plastic. Materials that float in water: wood, plastic, cork. Lastly, materials that sink in water, such as glass, rock, clay, and metal. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you all will understand what we what we are learn today. See you again next week. Thank you.